called Intaglio. Been around for a hundred years. But it's a little different now. Instead of a zinc plate, which is traditionally used, we're going to use some plexiglass. When I was a young printmaker, plexiglass was something you put over a print to protect it, not something that you pull the print from. So we're going to whack off a little piece of this here plexiglass and make a plate and we're going to do some printing. All right, so I cut my plexiglass. I left the plastic, uh, the protective coating on there just so that it doesn't get scratched up when you're babbling it. I'm gonna peel that off. Maybe. There we got a nice piece of plexiglass. Now, Pro and con. Uh, one of the things is that because it's clear, it can be difficult to see what you're doing. I like to back it with some black paper. And, uh, and there's a couple different reasons why I'll do that. I'll show you in a second when I get it under the light. But we're ready to start putting some on this thing. Let's go. And what we're gonna be doing is dry point. As opposed to etching, etching involves putting a hard ground over a, the surface of either copper or zinc and then scratching through that to the metal and giving it an acid bath. Dry point is just scratching on the, on, on the metal or in this case, the plexiglass. This is kind of like your standard twisted two-ended etching needle. And then a bunch of years ago, a few years ago, on, uh, on the internet, I found this guy's making these titanium tip, and they're like super sharp. When I first started using it, it was like, holy cow, man, this thing is almost too sharp. So then we're just gonna start, uh, start something. I really don't know what I'm gonna do here. Like, uh, do I do my my skull? I know you can't see it yet, but as I progress, you'll start to see.
that's a little deceiving. And what I like about plexiglass is that instead of trying to interpret that white in the opposite, that the white lines are black lines, I'm going to show you. If you uh, make it so that you can see so the reflection of the light that's on the ceiling, if you use that light, then you are drawing in black and white. Another con is that the plexiglass is clear, so the inside of the back side is also reflective. So you kind of get this ghost image underneath that can sometimes be confusing, so you kind of have to watch that. So you kind of get an idea of what the print is going to look like. So, I think that's good for now. Well, let's prove it up. And we're going to soak it. I have to expand the fibers of the uh, paper. Makes it easier to print. Picks up the ink a lot better. So here it is. Getting ready to proof it. I like to tape it down <clears throat> so that, once again, it's clear. So when you start to ink it up, you have to make sure that uh, it doesn't move too much so that you can see through it to make sure That you've done a good inky job. I'm using my shirt to get a little lint so it's not quite so sticky on the plexiglass. I find it's better to lift and roll, lift and roll, roll and lift. The ink not much wider than the roller. perfect because what we're going to do next is use this dauber pick up a little bit of ink and you can see like right there and there the 
roller doesn't push the ink into it. So, we're going to use the dauber to push the ink into the groove. That's nice and heat though. So you start with a dirty tarlatan. <clears throat> Excuse me. Flatten it out a little bit. Start lightly rubbing the ink off. I'm not pushing too hard. Then when we got the most of the ink off, then you move to a cleaner one. This one's a little cleaner. Lightly rubbing. And then to a relatively clean one. You don't want to rip off too much. And then, some of you guys might know what this is. It's an old phone book. So then with the uh, I'm going to take this and with the flat of my hand just lightly rub around the edges. Not much ink there. It's ready to proof. This is the intaglio press we're going to be using. It's made by Conrad Machine. They make great printing presses. And this is the Mono E18. We've got our felt blankets. Soak your paper. First, lay a sheet of newsprint on the bed of the printing press before placing your plate. Ink side up. This eliminates stray ink from ending up on your prints at this point. Place my proof paper over. Two 
two sheets of newsprint over. You can feel it. You can feel it let go. This is part of the reason why you use newsprint is that uh, the moisture will get through and you don't want the blankets to get too wet. We're gonna pull our newsprint up. Yeah, I was off a little bit, but fortunately it's just a proof. And there it is. An intaglio print, dry point to be specific. I could have wiped it a little bit better, I guess. Then, now that it's done, put it over here on the dry rack. That's how it's done. And wait for it to dry. So I hope that helped uh, you understand a little bit about intaglio printing. Thanks for following along. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comment section. I love questions. So thanks again, and uh, we'll see you real soon.